Are you guys awake? I wanted to show you guys a trick. Real something that may help everyone. Here we go. I'm going to press play on here. I was working on trying to get this video completed, but I'm just going to make it a tip. This is an extra large 6x6 six six closure. And I am demonstrating on how to make it more flexible so that this way, once you place it, it would take the shape of the client's head exactly. It helps with the blending and everything. So now I do this along the front, the sides and the back, but on my front line of my frontals, or my closure, I use the same technique. I find it to be very easy when applying and it helps to make the lace less detectable. I don't know if you got a chance to see the lace tool that we're using now to do our customizations on our lace products but they're designed to save you time. I'm going to play this video again from the beginning. Okay, this is what I do at the salon. I take my lace closure or my frontal and I cut in little slits in the shape or the, what you'll say, the trim of the closure to make it more flexible. So that this way it can take on the shape of my client's head. And you know, you'll still take that time out to bleach your knots and tint your lace. And uh, we also broke the code on the lace tint. In order to create your own lace tint, all you will need is 99% alcohol and any semi-permanent color that deposits only, you mix the two. This is something that the barbers have been doing for a very long time, blending in their cuts along the sides, giving that perfect fade effect on the haircuts and on beards. So this is something you may want to try as well to help give a natural look to your lace product but this is the tip i will be posting it but i wanted to share it to you guys who are still up and not sleeping like myself so that this way maybe you can try it tomorrow on a client cut little slits in your lace product your closure your lace frontal along the sides and the back and along the front to help blend it as well be blessed and have a hairy day and remember if you have any questions please email me or go on my website at she's internationals.com there you'll see a lot of videos posted information of upcoming events classes and new products the medical adhesives are there for retail as well be blessed and have a hairy day